which really was that map that no one really cared about, but all that has changed with patch 12.9 where we got the new map expansion and with that came a lot of areas to loot and an abundance of hidden stashes. In this video I will be showing you all these hidden stashes and hopefully with that a new way to make money that doesn't involve you pulling your hair out as you die over and over again on either interchange or reserve. I do stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday over on Twitch, so if you enjoy what you see, be sure to check me out over there. Now, with all that being said, let's jump into it. So for our first hidden stash, we have spawned on the outskirts side of the map. If we can see across to the right, there is Scav House. And what we're looking for here is this metal structure of some sort. I'm not quite sure what it is, a watchtower or something. But we want to go two bushes to the left of the metal structure and in the second bush, just at the back of it, we will find our first hidden stash. So from here we want to head into the wooded area towards Lumberyard. Take note of the wooden hut to our left. Be warned scabs do spawn around this area, so just be careful when around this area. From here we want to go off slightly to the right until we reach this rocky area. Now once we reach this rocky area, we're going to take a sharp left. Head towards these bushes and just in the front of these bushes we will find our second hidden stash. Now another way to locate this hidden stash is just to the left of the stash. There is a fallen down tree so again just take note of that. From here I am going to be taking you past Mark Circle on our way to our third hidden stash. This is of course the first OG Mark Circle on Woods. Now there is of course some good rare loot spawns that can spawn here. Also take note this will be a high traffic area because as we can see also on our right hand side here is Lumberyard so people will be pushing past Mark Circle to loot Mark Circle and also pushing towards Lumberyard. Now if we take a look on our right we will be heading towards Dickhead Rock. Dickhead Rock is there on our right and just off to the left of Dickhead Rock underneath this fallen down tree is our third hidden stash. For our fourth hidden stash we are going to be heading northeast until we come across this road. Take note of these electrical towers, we are going to be aiming for the tower that is just off to the right of this mound with the rock on the right hand side. Head up the mound past the first wheat patch, I'm not too sure if these are wheat patches but they look like it so we're just going to roll with it. Head past the first wheat patch, aim for the second wheat patch and inside this bush or should I say just at the front of this bush will be our fourth hidden stash. For our next hidden stash, we're going to be heading back onto the road, taking a left, following the electrical lines down the road until we come to the second tower that we pass. Once we get to here, take a left and just on the outside, on the right hand side of this tower, will be our fifth hidden stash. For our next hidden stash, we want to go back onto the road, take a left, follow the electrical lines down the road, past this first tower. And then we will come to a fork in the road. Once we come to this fork in the road, we want to line ourselves up with the very tip of the grassy area. Once we're lined up with the very tip of it, just run directly ahead until we come down to the lake down here. Now this is going to be hard to explain so I'll try my best. Once we get down here, you want to line yourself up in the very middle of the two trees across the lake. Do your 180. This tree directly behind you, the green tree, you want to go to one to the left to the smaller tree. Go around the smaller tree and back here will be a bush. And in front of the bush will be another hidden stash. For our next hidden stash we want to run along the left hand side of this lake through this little tree area and we will come to a second lake where we will have a dead scav in a boat next to your pier. To find this next stash we just run along the water's edge here until we come to a bush on the left hand side and just to the right of this bush is our next hidden stash. It's kind of hard to explain where this stash is but if you run along the water's edge it should be hard to miss the stash on the left. As we head towards our 8th hidden stash here, take note of this convoy as to the right of the convoy there you can see a crate which can also be looted. Now we will head around the left hand side of that lake there, head up towards the gap in between these two rocks. Once we get there, head directly ahead of us, we will find another rock. And just behind this little bush here, we will find our 8th hidden stash. For our next hidden stash, we're actually going to head back the way we came, back towards the convoy on the road. Once we get to the convoy on the road, we're going to hang a left, head up the hill past the fallen down tree. We will have scav bunker on our left. How we know it's scav bunker is there will be this big massive metal tower at it. Also to the right, we have another compound here. But for the next stash, we're going to head to this little forked area in the road. Again, 
I'm going to line ourselves up to the tip of the grassy area, head directly ahead of us. There will be a rock on the right hand side and just in the front of these bushes here. It's kind of hard to find, but if you look, look about, you should be able to find it. We'll have our ninth hidden stash. To get to our next hidden stash, we're going to head up this hill through this little compound. Take note on the right hand side, just to the left of that fan is a crate we can loot. There's also a weapon crate there, which we can see that we can loot. We're going to head down this hill around the left hand side of the smallest lake in this area. And we're going to come up on another lake. Now this lake is the one that has the dead scav in the boat. If we look to our left, we also have Sunken Village. We are now going to hug the left hand side of this rock area here. Past the tree, through this bush area. And just here we will have our 10th hidden stash. From here we're going to do a 180. Past the tents, which will be on our left hand side. We're going to go to the front of this wooden hut. At the front, we're going to go through this doorway. And at the back of this bush will be our 11th hidden stash. For our 12th hidden stash, we're going to go out the door, round the right, round the back of the wooden hut. And we are going to be heading southwest. As we can see, as I pointed to there, there is a electrical tower in the distance, which we will be aiming to head towards. Head towards the electrical tower. And just inside the tower, on the left hand side here, through this bush, is our 12th hidden stash. From here we are going to be following the electrical lines to the left. We are going to be passing the car here on the left. You may want to check the boot of that car as there can be loot spawning in there from time to time. Again we are just going to follow these electrical lines actually up this little hill area here. Once we get up the hill we will come across a path. Once we are at the path take a left. Go to this rock area. And when we are at this rock area we are going to hug the right hand side of the rock. All the way around until we come to our 13th hidden stash. Now while we're here I will just show you whereabouts we are so you can kind of get your bearings. If I go up on top of this rock here. If we look to the left we will see a road. The road will lead on the left hand side there up through Sunken Village. If we look to our right. If we would head down that road we would get towards Bridge Extraction. Now from here. We're going to go off the rock. Follow the electrical lines again. Back onto this little sandy slash beach area. We are going to hug the water's edge. All the way until we get to the very last inlet here. Once we get to this last inlet on the right hand side. Line yourself up with this bush directly in the middle. Head towards the bush. Once we get to this bush here. We are going to go to slightly to your left. And there will be a second bush. And just at the front of this bush. We will find ourselves another hidden stash. For our next stash we are going to head slightly south and we are going to be aiming towards that big rock, big mountain we can see in the background just past the tree line. Now be careful of these next two stashes, they are up around this mountainous area and PMCs do like to come up around here so they can snipe across the map. We are wanting to find this little passage between the two rocks, head up through the passage and we are going to be hugging the right hand side of this rock. Now this stash can be hard to find at times. But if you do hug the right hand side all the way around, it should be pretty hard to miss this next stash here, just to the left of this tree. For our next stash here, we are going to be heading up this hill, just up this path, which is across from our last stash. We are going to hang a right up here and then hang a couple of lefts. Now once we get to the top here, take note on the right hand side, there is a toolbox and also a crate which can be looted. But we're going to go down to the left here and just past this tree through the little bush we will find ourselves another hidden stash. Now just so you know whereabouts we are I'm going to climb up on top of this rock area here. Apologise for the fog it might be kind of hard to see. But you can faintly just see the outline of a truck there which we are going to be heading towards for our next stash. And to the right of it I believe this area is called UM Storage. If I'm wrong you can let me know in the comment section. Now to find our next stash we're going to head down the hill and like I said we're going to be heading towards that UN storage place. More precisely towards the truck and towards this little rubble area. Once we get to this rubble area we are going to head just to this little hole to the right of the truck. And inside this little hole area we'll find ourselves another hidden stash. On our way to the next hidden stash just take note of this tank as at the front of the tank there is a weapon case which can be looted. Now for this next task we want to line ourselves up with these logs on the left hand side here. What we want to do is aim two stumps to the right of the logs. 
head towards the second stump which we just aimed at and once we get past the second stump there will be two trees here and on the left hand side tree there will be another hidden stash for our next hidden stash we're going to be heading towards the northern UN root block again just take note of those buildings on the right hand side they have some really good lit in them now once we get to the northern UN root block here just to the left of this crate we will find a hidden stash and to the left of that wall we will find another weapon crate now from here we're going to hug the right hand side of this rock area come upon this wall area here we're then going to hug the outside part of the wall area aim for the rock and just to the right of this rock past this bush is another hidden stash from here we are going to be heading towards old station i think some people also call it train station but i believe on the tarkov wiki maps it's called old station as you can see just through the tree line there there is old station and this off to your right here we will find ourselves another hidden stash and also just be warned there is a lot of scavs that can spawn in and around this area now, i know i am going through these stashes quite quickly but i'm trying to make sure that this video isn't like 30 minutes long so for our next stash here we're going to be heading towards the plane crash we're going to be looking out for this wing here that is next to the rock as you can see there there is the plane crash so what we want to do is line ourselves up with this plane here do a 180 look through the trees and just in the front of that bush is another hidden stash from here we are going to be heading south towards the uh, factory gate extract but before we get towards the factory gate extract take note we want to be looking out for this tank as just off to the right of the tank we have a set of bushes and in front of these bushes will be another hidden stash how we know what bush it is is there'll be a rocky area just directly opposite the bush that the hidden stash is hidden in now for the next hidden stash we actually just go down this little hill around the back of the bushes and in between these two rocks here will be another hidden stash and then from here we want to be heading again towards the factory gate extract once we get to the factory gate extract we want to hug this wall on the right hand side and we want to hug it all the way until we get to this metal gate or metal fence and just to the right will be a bush and inside this bush will be our last hidden stash so while i was editing this here i realized that i somehow missed a stash i don't know how i did that there but anyway i'll show you this stash now so i guess this will be our 26th and final stash on woods so just so we kind of get our bearings here if we look down this road here this road would take us towards bridge extraction this road here would take us towards sunken village and to find this next stash what we want to do is follow this path the whole way up around the right hand side of this rock once we get up top here you want to look at the first tree on the left here just to the left of the path through the weed patches through the bushes and just on the other side of the bush you'll find yourself the last hidden stash so now you should hopefully know where all the hidden stashes are on woods i don't want this outro to last too long as this video is probably already pretty long but i hope this little guide was helpful and if it was i would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button and hit that sub button these videos do take a lot of time and work to make so again i would really appreciate that extra sub and that like but as always guys until next time goodbye